So today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this gorgeous Trinity stitch. All you need is the yarn that you'd like to use and the appropriate sized hook to go with it. We're going to start with a chain and it needs to be a multiple of two. We're going to start by creating a slip knot. Insert your hook and pull tight and then you're going to chain a multiple of two. Now I'm only going to do a small sample, but make your piece as long as you would like. So now that I have a chain of 20, I can start working row one. So I'm going to turn and starting in the second chain from the hook, so that's one chain, two chains, I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to do a single crochet. Next, I'm going to start working Trinity stitches. So start by putting your hook back into that same stitch where you've just done your single crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop. Find your next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then find your third stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. So at this stage, you should have four loops on your hook. You are now going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. You're then going to chain one to secure. Next, we're going to do another Trinity stitch. So going back into that last chain that we worked into. So you had your one, two, three, and this is working into number three. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Going into the next stitch, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then into the next stitch, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all four stitches that are on there and then chain. We're going to do this all the way across and just remember, don't let your tension get too tight because that will cause you problems in the next row. I'll see you at the end of the row. So I've just got to the end of the chain and worked a Trinity stitch that uses that last chain. Instead of chaining one before I finish, I'm going to work straight into that final stitch again with my single crochet. So do not chain one with the very last Trinity stitch because that will throw out your count for the next row. It's exactly the same as we did at the start of the row. So we single crocheted and then went straight into a Trinity stitch. We did not chain one between the single crochet and the Trinity stitch. Next, we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to single crochet into the top of the single crochet that we just made. Not chain one, so avoid the chain one and start working our first Trinity stitch. So going into those first, second and third stitches along, four loops on the hook, pull through all four and chain one. Now, if you turn your work upwards, you can see the Vs that you're going to be working into nice and easily. So keep working the Trinity stitches along the row and I will meet you at the end. So as you can see, I have four loops on the hook for my last Trinity stitch. I'm going to pull through all four loops, not chain one because it's the end of the row and place a single crochet in that stitch. Now that is the end of row two. And that row two is the one that you are going to be repeating again and again and again until your project is as tall as you would like. I hope you found this helpful.